Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Andrew and welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial video. So for this tutorial video, I want to show you guys how you can set up a comic book page in Clip Studio Paint for a perfect bound comic book or what's also known as a square bound or a trade paperback. Uh, one of my more popular videos is how to create a template to for a comic book page in Clip Studio Paint, but uh, it doesn't quite work if you are going to make a square bound comic book and I'll explain here why. So here what we're seeing is a comic book page that is set up for uh, a US comic book or a Western comic book where the green area is the safe area where printers will tell you to keep your artwork and your word balloons in this area and then you, the blue area is kind of where you're kind of getting to the edge of the paper. And then the red area is called the bleed area where everything in the red area will be cut off. In fact, uh, the line between the red area and the blue area is called the trim line because that's where the printers are going to trim it. And so everything in the red is going to be lost. Now, a saddle stitch binding is what uh, a comic book with uh, staples looks like. So when a printer puts um, two pages together from your comic book, you can see that I've removed the red out of the pages. And so all you're left, um, the two blue areas butt up against each other. And so if you draw something that, let's say, goes from page two to page three, it meets up very nicely so there's no problems there and this is what they call it, like a two-page spread but when you're dealing with a perfect bound uh, comic book you have this extra area um, if we can just zoom in right here you have this area here and this area here and let's say again this is page two and this is page three so this this part here of page two and this part here of page three are going to be glued together and then depending on how many pages you have it creates a spine but I'll get to the spine later the problem that that causes is that so here's what it looked like when it was a saddle stitch or stapled together. But when you have that perfect bound, you have this area here. So half of this black bar is on page two and the other half of the black bar is on page three. So those, this black area is where the two pages are going to be glued together. And so, when they're glued together, this is what your your uh, comic book will look like when a, a customer opens it up. You'll, you'll see how the, um, the arm does not match, right? They don't align anymore. And that's because uh, there's information, if I can find it, this little bit of information was lost when the two pages were glued together. So how do we set up a comic book page in Clip Studio Paint so that we can um, account for that little bit of area that's going to be glued together. So here are the dimensions for a typical Western or US comic book. Uh, in fact, these are the dimensions that I found for DC Comics. Now, um, I'll just tell you what to add to so if you want to make a western style comic book just pause the video and write these dimensions down um, if you want to make your western comic book in in a uh, perfect bound um, then we're going to change some of these numbers now if you want to know where I got these numbers from you can ask me in the comments otherwise just believe me that this is what we need to add so on the canvas we're going to add these numbers to get a total of 7.55 inches. And then for the binding size, we're going to add uh, 0.25 inches 
to get a total of 7.1 inches. And then for the default border or the inner border size, we're going to leave it the same, but we're going to offset the inner square to the left by so because we're moving it to the left we're going to use a negative 0 0.13 inches so let's do that right now and see what it looks like so here is the DC and we're going to use these measurements here so I'm going to start by changing the binding uh, size because when you start messing with the binding size dimensions they kind of change all the other dimensions so here you can see it already changed the default. So we're going to go back to the original size that that was. But again, like I said, we're going to offset it. We're going to move it to the left 1.3 inches. And then the canvas size is uh, 7.55. So everything else should be the same. And so yes. And so now we're going to hit OK. And so now you can see that, uh, well, you probably can't see in the video the blue lines. So uh, give me a minute and I will draw the squares again. All right, uh, so it's not entirely perfect, perfect, but it's, it's ballpark. So what you'll notice is that on the right-hand side, the blue area is twice the size of the blue area on the left-hand side. And that is because what we now have, in fact, um, I'm just going to use this side real quick to get that much, and I'm going to color it black. So what we have is so now we have this right here. So now we have this black area here where this is where the page is going to be glued now these are interior pages again uh, that's the the black is where the the page is going to be glued to the the next page and remember the red is being cut off by the uh, printer and so again those dimensions, if you want them, you can pause the video, or actually, let me show you the final. So you can um, pause the video and get these dimensions if you want to make uh, a comic book the same size that DC Comics makes them, but uh, with that extra added space so that you can glue uh, for your perfect bound. Now, uh, like I said, the perfect bound also has a spine so the spine actually um, that is dependent on the number of pages that you use so Mixium is a company that prints comic books um, I already got two in the you can tell I've already done this before but if you come here Mixium has this neat little calculator and let's say we want to make um, a, a uh, perfect bound comic book with uh, 56 pages. And we want to use uh, four of those pages. We want to add four pages for the cover. And we want to make it perfect, perfect bound. So what we are going to do now is uh, go to add to the cart. And it will tell you right here how thick the spine is going to be. Again, this will change if you want to make a uh, different amount of paper. Let's let's say we want 120 pages. You know, this is a big trade paperback, whatever. So now your your spine changes to this uh, dimension here, and so the number or the dimension of your spine will change depending on how many pages but the way you add that into clip studio paint is this way now for this part you will need clip studio paint ex because ex i don't believe a pro lets you do um i don't believe pro lets you do multiple pages so when we come here 
we have our page set up uh, for perfect bound but then you come here to multiple pages um, I don't want to I'm just going to say 12 pages right now because I don't want Clip Studio Paint to uh, take too long rendering it but we're going to bind it on the left hand side and this, again this is a western comic so it's going to be glued on the left hand side and page one is going to be on the right hand side now when you do the cover if you're doing a cover that only has um, artwork on the front cover and then a different artwork on the back cover then you don't need and this is the option you need which is this one here um, now if you do choose this option the printer is going to ask you to provide a different um, a different drawing for the spine and again you'll have to come to this um, you'll have to know how thick your spine is and you're gonna to have to create a drawing that thick um, again you can do that in clip studio paint now if you have what they call a wraparound cover which means the artwork from the front cover wraps around to the back cover so it's like one giant piece of artwork then you want to choose this option here and this is where you enter uh, the size of your spine again depends on the number of pages a hundred pages about this and then or sorry 56 pages gave me this dimension and then 120 gave me this so it all depends on how many pages I'm just gonna leave it like that so this is what it looks like when um, Clip Studio Paint EX generates a comic book okay so here is the generated pages for a comic book with a perfect bound and so what you'll see here if you zoom in you probably can't see it because blue lines don't show up on video too good or too well I should say so I'll just draw a so you'll see that that right there is the spine and then of course you'll have um, so basically what I'm showing you here is this is what um, this black line here is the spine of your book which is indicated by these there's these blue lines you gotta believe me if you can't see them in the video but there's these blue lines here they'll tell you uh, the thickness of the spine and then the red over here is um, it might be a little bit thicker but this is where uh, the inside pages the interior pages will be glued uh, on on a by on the cover it's you'll usually see like an indention here like a where the where, where the cover will fold uh, a fold mark or something like that uh, but I'll show you here when I generate a 3d model of this book so uh, let's save that and I want to show you I want to show you some interior pages because so um, so in Clip Studio Paint EX when you generate a book you have the back cover the front cover the inside of the cover and then this where it says three that's actually page one so page one is there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw uh, this is again this is just a guess it's, it might be thinner or thicker but that's where the glue is going to go so page one is going to be glued to the inside cover of, uh, of the book pages of that. Oh, wait cancel that let's go here and save that and then close it and what I want to show you is this is page two and page three I'm going to combine those two pages and I'm going to align it with no gap in between the pages so that I want to show you guys what a two page spread looks like when you do it in Clip Studio Paint so every time you combine two pages Clip Studio Paint 
puts it in two separate folders but I don't want two separate folders I want one giant spread so just so we know which is which I'm going to label these page 2 page 3 and then what I'm going to do is so the the part where the page is going to be glued is roughly that size but half of it will go into uh, each page so uh, I'm trying to get it as evenly distributed as possible so that is where the two pages will be glued together and you won't see that so this is what I want to show you I'm going to draw three diagonal lines this way and in a different layer I'm gonna draw I'm gonna draw three lines diagonal this way but with those diagonal lines what I'm going to do is I'm going to align them so that they match so you're gonna see what a drawing looks like when it's aligned correctly and when it's aligned incorrectly so roughly something like that and so we shouldn't see that I shouldn't need to erase it but I want to erase it oh, no not that way that's why so I'm gonna save that so when I generate I'm going to generate a 3d book or clip studio paint is going to so 3d preview for binding hit continue so we're gonna see the cover and you're gonna see page one there's really nothing to show in page one but maybe um, in page two and page three you will definitely see um, what I'm talking about so here's here's the front cover you can see this red area here that's where the um, well it, it doesn't matter on the cover because you won't see the glue obviously you won't see glue on the cover but that's where the you'll see a little crease right there in perfect bound books comic books you'll see a little crease that's where they fold the paper um, and so the black is the spine and then on the back you'll see the other crease you'll see you should see a crease there if you've ever seen a, a perfect bound you you know what I'm talking about so here's the inside cover and page one yeah you can see I kinda uh, did a little too much on the inside of the page one you wouldn't you shouldn't be able to see that much but it demonstrates what I'm talking about and then same here it looks like I, I did a little bit overboard on the on the where the pages are glued together but you can see let me zoom out a little bit you can see that the black lines do not align but the blue lines they do they align a lot more uh, correctly and again that was because I adjusted for the information that was lost in between the two pages getting glued together so um, the only other thing I want to show you is if you have Clip Studio Paint Pro um, when you want to create and let's say you created your comic book and um, you already have the pages drawn you can still use this format say you have a you did a floppy and you now want to collect them into a trade and what you'll have to do is you'll have to create this uh, you'll have to go back to creating this so this negative zero one three that pushed that pushed the inside square the uh, this green square it pushed it to the left 
this only works for pages that are going to be on the even pages like page two four six eight and so on uh, you'll have to do a positive um, a positive zero one three to push the to push the 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 inside square to the opposite side that way you can do page one uh, the odd pages so um, in Clip Studio Paint Pro you're gonna have to do the pages individually and what I would recommend is I would put a black bar create a layer and put a black bar and then fit your artwork inside there and that black bar will pretty much tell you hey uh, information is going to be lost here um, so don't put your artwork or any words in that area because it'll get glued in in the spine and then before you turn it into a JPEG or a PDF whatever your printer wants turn off that layer with the black bar turn it off and then send that to your printer and that way when your printer puts all the pages together um, there won't be any artwork in that area that it'll get glued that would be my recommendation um, so yeah that's how you create a comic book with perfect bound um, again if you want you can uh, pause the video and get these dimensions if you want to create a a comic book the same size as a DC comic book but formatted for um, perfect bound um, so yeah I hope you guys found this uh, informative I hope it wasn't too confusing uh, again if you got any questions for any of my videos just leave them in the comments of any of my videos if you like the video give it a thumbs up uh, if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing I make clip studio paint videos like this one and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.